know why I started the coconut plantation and encouraging you to join me and other people to join the coconut plantation? This is because the retirement plan in Nigeria gets modeled up more and more every day. In the olden days, they have a pension fund, they have a retirement plan, which they stay back and they enjoy at the age of 70, they start getting it monthly and it gives them some kind of peace of mind. In modern world, this is what they still live on. This is what is happening and everybody knows that after I've served the government for years, I can now relax at home, I can stay back at home and enjoy some peace of mind. This is no longer happening again because the pension fund has been messed up and so it's difficult for retired elderly people that cannot do any other work again and it's very difficult to get access to those funds. You see elderly people queuing up at offices, pension offices, waiting days, months, they travel from far, from places and still the money is not coming out. You see some of them got sick in the way, some died along the way, some even died at the office there and still the money is still not coming out. Everyone has just accepted that this is the way things are and uh, that is the way it has continued for years from the government. What if you have something you can fall back to apart from expecting money from the government, apart from the pension? What if you have something you can really get back to after retirement from active service? What if? This is what we call creating passive income for yourself. Why you are in service working, why you are in service any salary, that is the best time for you to save some part of the salary and start creating a passive income. Passive income is something you create so that it, in the later years, it can continue to give you money, even when you are not working. Okay. The easiest passive income for a salary hana, the easiest passive income for somebody that is any monthly is to start a tree crop farm. Tree crops means coconut, palm oil, plantain, orange. In the Awolo era then, he empowered southwestern farmers with cocoa plantation. Those cocoa plantations that has been established in the 60s are still existing up to today. That is what some of their children, some of their grandchildren are still living on. The cocoa plantation that has been established in the, 19, in the 60s and we are in the 2024. So you understand what we call passive income. What if we come collectively together? I'm planting coconut. I planned myself. I said this year I'm going to plant 50 coconut and I plant. So this is where I started the coconut plantation, coconut planting cluster, where I called on everybody, where I encouraged people and said, let's plant coconuts, let's nurture coconuts, let's grow coconuts. By the time you grow your coconut, you start with saving 10%, 15% of your salary and use it to get a land, use it to start your coconut farm, wherever your location is, close to where you are, because it should be somewhere you can retire to, somewhere you can build a house and live inside your coconut plantation. Yes. This is the plan so that you have a one acre or two acre land and at some corner of the land you build a retirement house where you can live. Your coconut will build the house for you when you grow your coconut, definitely. Starting the coconut means you save some little money. Just save 10, 10,000 every month by December you're having 120,000. You can start something. You have to determine to say, I'm starting. I don't want to leave my retirement in penury. I don't want to go and be keen at the government offices because I want to get my pension. So the last few years have been a wide ride. I've been able to establish some makers of coconut plantation. And the plan is when we plant the coconut, we network market together. Yes, it takes some years before the coconut starts fruiting. But once you plant your coconut, you harvest for the next 40, 50 years. What other retirement plan is superior to that? So I've encouraged almost 200 people to start planning for their retirement, to start planning for their future and not wait for retirement plan from the government. The plan is we collect the coconuts and let and meet the processing company that are importing coconuts into Nigeria. I can't wait to tell you that in a few years to come, my group and I will be the biggest coconut owners and coconut exporters out from Nigeria and we earn in dollars. And you know the way dollars keep increasing every day. It's not been easy actually encouraging people, telling people, okay, this is how to spend your money, start coconut planting. But believe me, they will have me to thank for it in the future because they will always remember when I said plant coconut. They will always remember when Inca keeps saying plant coconut, plant coconut, plan your retirement, plan your retirement because that is one of the greatest retirement plans you can ever have. Brief reminder again an acre of coconut, you have about 100 coconut seedlings. And 100 coconut seedlings each will give you 100 fruits minimum when you take proper care and good care of it. Even if you are not processing, you are just selling, selling your coconut. 
no one no smallest size of coconut start from 500 naira. so it means you will be able to sell your coconut 500 naira if you're selling 500 naira times 100 that's 50,000 per tree and you will get more if you take proper care and good care of your coconut fruit having 500,000 to 1 million to 2 million from an acre of coconut tree annually is such a good passive income for a retiree and you know that is the lowest the minimum you can ever get because if you are planting coconut right now in the next three four years or next two years when your coconut will be ready for selling you'll be selling over 1000 naira so it means it increases in prices just like cocoa today cocoa farmers are making money but you know they've made the, they've done the work so it is time to join the coconut planting it is time to plan for your retirement it is time to plan for your future you don't even have to wait for retirement a couple that you just marry you can decide to have just one acre of coconut and plant it for your children by the time your children are in secondary school they you will be paying the school fees with that with the harvest from your coconut not even secondary school by the time you're in primary six four years how much is four years five years you'll be paying their You'll be paying their school fees from the coconuts you planted when you gave back to them. So, coconut plantation is one of the best retirement, retirement plans you can get for yourself. It's one of the retirement benefits you can plan for yourself even when the government is not planning for you. To join our group of coconut planting challenge. I name it coconut planting challenge because I want you to be challenged to plan. When you're in a group where somebody is having 800, 700 or 500 coconut and whereas you are starting, you are just starting with 10, it means you need a lot of catch up to do so that you can catch up with those people that are in front. So if you are joining the coconut planting challenge group, we encourage you to start the lowest 10 coconut seedlings start from 10 coconut seedlings when you start planting 10 coconut seedlings then you grow you'll be challenged to grow and say oh i want to add to my coconut this year i want to add to my coconut next month i'm saving towards my coconut your farm is your farm it is your coconut tree it is your farm we only encourage you to plant so that you'll be able to have future return so that you have future money so that you don't have to go and queue up at government offices when people ask yes you need the pension is your pension but if you get it fine you don't have to be so dependent on it yes a lot of people are dependent they don't have any other alternative with coconut planting challenge you have alternative you have other source where you can get make money and live your old days in good in good mood travel around move around because you have the fun to do so okay so if you plan to join the coconut planting challenge, you need to buy minimum of 10 coconut seedlings. We give you a lot of videos, a guide, a guide, plenty guide, so that you watch the one for land preparation, you watch the one for value addition. There are a lot of videos to guide you through to join the group and you continue to ask questions. We grow together. As you all know, my name is Yinka Deshola. I'm a farmer. I'm also growing my coconut, just like I'm encouraging you to grow yours. I you know the number to call or WhatsApp. Join us so that you can create a better future for yourself and for the next generation, for your children too.